Well, we went to the to the other gym, and they and the the terminals. Well, the, the okay. You, there's a battery. Uh, there's a plug-in battery that you, they use to attach. It's used. It's attached to the uh, lift, the hydraulic lift there, and um, the battery. The 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 um, the connection points on the battery uh, were oxidized or rusted out over at the other gym, so I couldn't really use the uh, lift, the hydraulic lift over there, the battery powered hydraulic lift over there. Um, so. Uh, the gym over near our house is closer and um, it is uh, newer and so I asked for the batteries um, because this the pool is in it's in a room and so it's pretty humid in that room um, and so the water uh, touches the um, electrical electrical connections on top of the on top of the the, um, the hydraulic battery powered system, and it rusts them out uh, pretty quickly. Um, I put the power the battery on top of I slid the battery on top and. Of the of this hydraulic system, and and um, it was already kind of rusted a little bit, but the connections were good, uh, and so it was it was pretty uh, pretty decent. But if you notice there, I had to use the um, the remote control quite a bit um, because it. It, it the ba the batteries in the remote control are not charged very well, um, and it, it's just some Phillips. Uh, they need to get a Phillips screwdriver and s unscrew four screws in the back, and then replace the battery. I think it's probably one of those hearing aid batteries that you can use that that you can install in the in the uh, remote control. Um, the reason why I had why it's nice to have the remote control is that you that means that you can do the lift you can control the lift up and down and to the sides all by yourself you don't need any help uh, to do that um, but uh, another thing that is really important on the lift is that you are supposed to have uh, a belt you know the, the a belt that there's a belt that uh, attaches to the plastic chair uh, on the lift on the hydraulic on the hydraulic lift, and that belt, um, uh, you know, just wrap it around your body. There, my wife uh, was kind of talking about uh, the foot rest or the foot peg right there is. You know it's metal and it's pretty basic and stuff, um, but it's it's kind of hard on your feet. Um, of course, I'm paraplegic, so I can't feel my feet. Uh, so I don't know what kind of damage it was doing to the bottom of my feet, but I don't think it was doing any damage. But if you sat on that seat for a long time with your feet. Um, you know, on that bar, then, then it would, I'm sure it would cause some breakdown of your skin. <clears throat> uh, it depends, I guess, on how, how uh, sensitive your skin is. But if you see my arm there, uh, I have to, you know, I have to kind of stretch my arm to get as close as possible, get the remote control as close as possible to the, uh, to the electrical power source uh, of the hydraulic system so that it will actually move up and turn and, and things like that. Uh, 
I kind of was I kind of would like it if they had a strap there for your legs to hold your legs in um, and I guess it doesn't matter if you're you know uh, my legs are flaccid uh, which goes along with L1 injury uh, there's no spasticity at all in my legs and so my legs are pretty darn skinny also but if you do have spasms in your legs you know how could you hold your legs and at the same time you know make sure that the seat make sure that you hold your body on the seat um, I know that you have the